federal agents destroying equipment used by illegal miners in Brazil's largest indigenous reserve. It's part of an emergency operation launched by the government in January to save the Yanomami people from extinction. But they aren't the only ones in danger. Mining in the Amazon has exploded in recent years, affecting not only the Yanomami, but also the Kaipo and Muduruku people. The government is now addressing the problem by chasing away the illegal miners, but it's not enough. That's why our tribal leaders have formed an alliance to take our fight against invaders to a new level. Doto Takaire traveled all the way to Asia to meet representatives of the South Korean company Hyundai to convince them to stop selling excavators to retailers in the Amazon. These machines are being used to kill our rivers and our people. These aerial images taken by Greenpeace show the devastation produced by legal mining in indigenous territories. During the last government led by Jair Bolsonaro, 390 square kilometers of the Amazon were destroyed by miners. That's twice the amount of the area destroyed during the four previous years. Deforestation is only part of the problem. Mercury used by miners has polluted the rivers, causing a health crisis among the indigenous people. They were left with no water to drink, nor fish to eat. As soon as he took office in January, President Luiz Inácio Lula da Silva took action. He expelled around 20,000 illegal miners from the Yanomami Reserve. But machines used in mining are also a big part of the problem. Greenpeace identified 176 excavators being used in the area. Almost half of them were from Hyundai. Hyundai representatives in South Korea were surprised when they heard our report, but they also showed interest in cooperating with the Brazilian government to make sure their machines would no longer be used for illegal activities. During Bolsonaro's government, indigenous leaders felt they were alone defending the world's largest rainforest. Now they say they have hope things will change. Monica Yanakiv, Al Jazeera, Brazilia. 33 soldiers have been killed.